As the engineer, it's our job to basically make the game come to life in the way that the producer envisions it and the artist draws it. So when deciding on how to design the engineering of the game, we actually go back and try to look at games that we've done before or that have been done by Pogo before that are like it. So if we can borrow any of the code so that we don't have to actually rewrite some sections. Um, if there's drag and drop functionality, like moving cards around and dropping them into piles, uh, we try to reuse that as much as possible. Um, then we start thinking about the games and the states that it has, if it has an intro screen, if it has um, certain dialogues in the game whether it has a bonus game or not. Basically, if there are different modes to the game that we have to think about that are not just the straight gameplay point. Uh, after that, we start thinking in objects, what kind of objects are in the game, whether they're pucks or cards or whatever, um, and start deciding how they start interacting with each other. And then we start writing up a design doc, an engineering design doc. And that design doc contains how we're going to approach building this game. And that gets reviewed by all the other engineers here, and then we decide what are the best practices that we can put into this game so that it's not error prone, um, so that it is a clean, elegant design to it. And after all the considerations have been put into it, we actually start building the game, and that usually takes about three months. My name is Hemel. I'm a Pogo Games Engineer at Electronic Arts, and I make games come to life.